bloggers. This is yesterday. How? Okay, so welcome back to the challenge. It's my turn to pick a game this time. Blogger here, by the way, just in case you hadn't read the title card. And I've picked Bosconian uh, because I used to play it a lot. And um, I don't know where else I have to go first. And having not played it in a while, this could go one or two ways. Oh, here we go. Locked off. Right, so you've got a... Eight-way scrolling shootery thing, and it's one of my what well, used to be one of my go-to games for um, score attack. So I thought that'd be a good idea to uh, impress Dudley with. But um, it's been a long time, so Dudley. We'll get some practice goes. I get this go. Alrighty. Now, there is an interesting little tidbit of information about um, Bosconian. It was released on the 8-bit computers, you know, the, your Commodore 64, Spectrum and Amstrad and whatever, um, by budget company Mastertronic. Um, quite late I think it was like 1987 it was released and this is like a an 84 oh shit um, so it's quite a late release in terms of an arcade conversion but um must have been a, a cheap license for Mastertronic because they released it at their standard budget label price as well either 199 or 299 I can't remember which Oh, battle stations, here comes up a thing, a squadron of things, oh, another squadron of things. Oh shit, that was close. A lie, a lie, a lie ho. Okay, stage two clear. That's not too, doing too bad right now. Oh, stage three is a bit. Alive, things alive. start to get a bit trickier. Alive, alive. Weird thing. There alive, is uh, alive. another home version. I've not mentioned, I'm sure there's probably a Famicom version out there, but there is a Namco plug and play joystick version with Pac Man on it. And it's stupid because this is obviously an eight way control game, but that joystick that that Pac Man plug and play had was a four way joystick, which made it practically impossible to play this game, which was really silly. That was a bit hairy. Alive, alive. Oh. Running out of time. One more to go. Ooh. I can't remember what happens when that goes condition, complete condition red, but it's probably not pretty. Oh, Christ. Do you know what? I really should be dead after that, that hit, that one. It's making my fingers ache all this shooting. Alive, 
Right, two more to go, still condition green. Doing okay, extra life, excellent. Okay, one more base left to go. Oh, we've gone conditions red already. Oh, let's go there in time. Round five, I think this is historically where things start to go tits up. I do remember this stage being the one where it really is going to start to fall apart. What do you think about this? This really is for Space Rally X, isn't it? When you, when you look at it with the little radar thing to the side, on the side, and uh, Design of the graphics and that. On stage five. Concentrating there. Alive, alive. Luckily, the map wraps around, so I go down and do this. Well, try and do this space station down there. It would wrap around, but of course, I started in the middle of the map now because I lost the life because that was really stupid of me. Left to go. One more left to go. I get some mines on the way. Oh crap! There it is. Oh shit! Right, stage seven. I can't last that much longer, can I? Can I? Oh, this, this one. <laughs> if you're lucky, you can do this. Fuck. You can do this one pretty fast because all the space, all these space stations are in a line. There we go, Dodds. 95, 830. Let's see how you do there. Okay, so the rules of this challenge state that because Bloggo is playing at home, unlike certain members of your family who usually play away, 
I get to practice this as much as I like, and I have seen his go. What I have not done is played this game before this week at all, or even, I think, heard of it. I knew it was a Namco game, but I knew nothing about it. And I'm really impressed. What I'm not is any good at it. I don't think I've come within half of Bloggo's score. So, you know, here goes. Now, there are two approaches to this. You seem to get more points if you farm these and don't blow them up straight away. If I farm these and don't blow them up straight away, I die. So we're going to go full tilt Leroy Jenkins on this one. Because if we're going to die, we're going to die spectacularly. Also, if you hear that, he's saying a lot. And that bugs me. That said, this is from a year after Pac-Man. One year. It is 40 years old this year, Bosconian. And it feels like something at least half a decade newer. It's very impressive. There we go. These are in a line, and you can blow them up by blowing up the middle. A line, so a line. It should be easy, despite all of the alarting. Now, I can see on the map on the right there, we've again got a lot of nicely lined up stuff. Because if we're going to lose this, we're going to lose this seeing some of the levels. We are fine alive, until alive. the cannons go mad or it starts spawning the spy ships. And you'll know the spy ships when you see them. But if you don't get to those quickly, the game basically throws everything alive, it's got at you. Alive. Which is really quite a lot for a 40-year-old game. Although this thing actually uses three Z80 processors. That's the same CPU as the Spectrum and Master System. But it's got three of them. Ah, oh. Okay, not bad for a first life. It's the problem with this level that a couple of them are about eight miles away from everyone else. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Oh. Alright, screw it. Let's do a few oh, more around this general oh, area. Oh, it's only me this happens to in shooters. You lose your first life and then the next six basically melt straight away. At least this game not having oh, 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 any power-ups means I don't lose any bugger off power-ups. Okay, if we can get these two, then we'll go on the big commute to the remaining alive, one. Alive. Battle ah, battle stations means huge Spice formation of fighting. bastards. Although, there's the spy ship. We got him. That is very good. There's another formation coming my way. Okay. It's dumped us in the middle. If we can somehow cobble alive, together 2,000 points, and we can get 1,500 of them just for blowing this up, this guy will at least be my high score. Ah! Or we can't. <laughs> well, neither of those scores are beating Bloggo, but you know what? I'm not actually that upset about that. Logos, pow.